Happening today, it is Kindness Week at several schools in Horry County as students participate in the Great Kindness Challenge. Sounds good. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at Seaside Elementary in Garden City with more. Good morning. Good morning, that's right. Yeah, I'm with CJ from St. James Middle School and talk about what you'll be doing this morning. Uh, well, I'm going to be talking about Kindness Week at our school and what Kindness Week is, it's just like, it's a week that you can just really show feeling and show kindness and you can be nice to everyone, do something good in the community. It's a good thing to do, right? I mean, yes, really, we should always be nice, but it's nice to take a, a week and really think about it, right? Yes, ma'am. And you'll be out here at Seaside Elementary this morning. What are you going to be doing here? Uh, I will be opening car doors along with um, my student, student council and beta club for my school. We'll be out here opening car doors. Yeah, opening car doors, saying hi to the kids, maybe giving out high fives and stuff, right? And uh, what else are you guys doing this week? Oh, uh, we're doing a um, toothbrush, any kind of toiletries drive, and there are different designated days. Like today was team day um, for our school, so you dress up as like your favorite team. And then tomorrow is tie-dye day. And then Wednesday, I want to say, is twin day. And then she'll have to tell the other two because they've not been picked yet. All right, so every, every day people will be wearing cool stuff, handing out high fives, giving nice little notes to each other. Mm -hmm. And you want to practice that high five now? Yeah! All right, go give cameraman Keith one too. Yeah. All right, be kind today. It's a good thing to spread, guys. Good job there. Maybe we should issue the same challenge to ourselves here on Good Morning Carolinas, right? Yes. It is Kindness Week here on GMC. Every day. I'm talking to you, Matt. <laughs> I know. I told him myself. Okay, talk. Thanks, Zach. Some local students are going above and beyond to make people smile this week and make them feel loved. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning at Seaside Elementary in Garden City, where the Great Kindness Challenge is happening today and all week, right? That's right, and we're starting early this morning. We've got a group of students and principals, and it's all about being kind. And uh, let's start with the St. James Middle School principal. I mean, talk about why you guys do this uh, with your students. Oh, good morning. We are really excited to be able to do many different activities during Kindness Week. We want students to realize that they have the power to make a really great difference with positive words, with actions, and knowing how to reach out to other people so that they can lift them up because then everything goes better depending on what you want to do and what you want to accomplish you can get there by showing kindness. Right, it just feels good to be kind and it feels um, you know, good for people to be kind to you and you said even better when you're kind to somebody else, right? Yes ma'am. Yeah, okay, so Benjamin, you're at the intermediate school. What are some ways that you can be kind to people? Um, well, I feel like I could be kind to people like if they need help, like I could compliment them on their, how they are dressed, like I could help them if they drop their pencil or they make a mess, I could help them pick it up. Um, I mean, I could help um, just many ways. I mean, it's kindness. Who doesn't want to be kind? Yeah, uh, and that, you know, that's so awesome to think about all those different things and ways to be kind. And, you know, focusing on it this week, but hopefully continuing it through the year. And what's it like to watch, you know, your students do stuff like this? It's awesome. In this uh, attendance area, St. James Attendance Area, it's great to see us all come together, um, not just for the week, but throughout the year we do this, but for this week in, in particular and spread kindness around each other's schools and encourage our students to continue not just in this week but throughout their life and um, just be kind to each other like a student said. Yeah, now how about coming together at five in the morning? Is that it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it to be with these people. Yeah. It's a wonderful group of people I work with, um, and I'm truly blessed um, that they're kind to me. Yeah. <laughs> be extra kind today, right, because everybody got up early. But spread kindness throughout the whole week, throughout the whole year, guys. Hey, what a crowd for almost 6 in the morning, right? I know it. Thank you all for waking up early to talk about what a great event happening this week. Happening today, it is Kindness Week at several schools in Horry County as students participate in the Great Kindness Challenge. Yeah, they have some good signs too. I saw Honk for Kindness. I like that one. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning at Seaside Elementary School in Garden City. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. Yeah, we've got signs and everybody's going to be out greeting people this morning uh, here at Seaside. It is hippie day today. We've got a bunch of hippies. You guys are looking good. Thank you. Now, talk about spreading kindness and why you guys do this. Um, the reason why we do this is because a lot of kids each year get bullied because either the way they look or if they are born with like a special disease that make them look different or if someone's going through a tough time and they don't want to talk about it, they bully other kids. 
Yeah, so what are some things that you can do to make those kids feel better? Um, you can, like, if someone's being bullied, you can go over there and help them feel better and things. Yeah, and, uh, and talk about what you guys are doing this week. You guys are collecting stuff too, right? Yes, we're collecting um, toothbrushes and stuff for, and a lot of stuff at school this week. Yeah, a lot of toiletries for people in need. You'll be handing those out um, every day. You collect something different. And yes. uh, you'll be getting high fives this morning and people um, greeting you. And then what's it like to see the students, you know, be, be kind and talk about bullying and some, some of the problems? It, it's awesome that, they all, that we all come together and do this. And we also have a kind note station that's going to be set up in the gym. So when the bus riders are waiting, they're going to go to the, these girls going to man the station so they can all go write a kind note, whether it's for a bus driver. Today's bus driver appreciation day. Tomorrow's front office appreciation day. We got a different appreciation every day. Yeah, showing appreciation makes people feel good and makes you feel even better to do it. So be kind. Everybody be kind, right? Yes. Yeah. Guys? Oh, very sweet. What a great effort out there. And it's all the St. James Cluster Schools doing that all week long until Friday. Yeah, so thank you to them. If you're looking for a reason to smile on this Monday, how about this? Some local <laughs> students are going above and beyond this week to make people happy and feel loved. They've got a lot of great plans. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth has been joined by all sorts of students and teachers. They're still out there at Seaside Elementary in Garden City. What's going on? Yeah, just take a look. I mean, look at these signs. How can that not make you smile, right? You guys are being kind to everybody who shows up at school today and every day. Why is it important to be kind? Because we... Like, if you're kind to people, then they'll be kind back and you'll make a lot of friends. Yeah, it's super important. And, you know, you're talking about students, and especially this young elementary age, and teaching the importance of being kind. Hopefully that carries on, right? Talk about, you know, how you guys do this and how it progresses. That's right. And we're so excited to be focusing on kindness this week across the whole cluster. We've united as a cluster to teach um, and focus on kindness, not just this week, but all year and beyond. We have service learning projects going on to create kindness bags for the homeless, and we're doing that with all of our schools in our cluster. Yeah, giving back to the community. And it's cool because the older students come to the uh, elementary schools, and then the elementary students also go to the high school. It's kind of a reverse. Talk about that experience. Yeah, um, so it's really wonderful for our students. They all started out at these schools. Like I said, this is a cluster thing. And to have the kids come open up doors um, just to high five our kids, our kids love it. And it's all about creating a culture of kindness because it seems to be more and more popular to be unkind. That seems to be the thing to do. And we're working with elementary school kids, middle, intermediate. So we're really trying to create that culture of kindness across the, the entire uh, uh, cluster. Right, and you guys give out high fives and hugs all the time here. Right? All the time, <laughs> all the time. All right, you tell them kids, tell everybody, be kind. You can actually do this at home with your family too. You can download a little kindness challenge for your family. So be kind, right? Yes. Yeah. Of course, uh, between the great signs, the costumes, what a great effort there this morning. Absolutely, and we've vowed to have our own kindness challenge here, right Matt? You're challenging me, I get it. Yeah. I can read between the lines. We'll see. <laughs>